everybody. Uh, I'm just about to embark on a project and this, if you like, is a retro introduction. I've already done three parts of this project and I, I really never intended to video it. Now, one thing led to another. I was taking pictures to show my friends uh, uh, how I was progressing with my project and I ended up videoing it on my flip phone. Now, I'm, a, I'm doing this introduction to retrospectively apologise, if you like, for the quality and the stability of them three, first three videos. Uh, I'm new to this, I've never done anything like this before, and I'm also, that's videoing, and I'm new to doing coil winding. I'm not an expert, and it's just a project I've wanted to do for a while, uh, so that's what I'm doing. Now, there'll probably be eight or nine parts to this project, something like that, and like I said, I've already done three, and this is an apology for quality. So, I'm not going to spoil the rest of the parts by telling you what I'm doing, so I'll just sign off for now, and uh, part one will continue after this. Hello, everybody. I'm... Uh... I'm just in my workshop, stroke garage, um, it's an October, mid-October morning um, and I'm just about to start an attempt on a, a project I've been meaning to do for a long time. Uh, you're looking at my shooting star now, it's just on workbench and the maintenance done to it. Uh, I've had that a few years. And, uh, but the, the video's not about that, it's about a magneto that fits on one of those. Um, it's not that magneto for that bike, it's a spare one I've got, which is over here. And, uh, and what I'm going to attempt to do is try and, uh, well, try and rewind it. And I know this is a very, very specialised um, procedure, and I don't profess to be an expert at all. But it's just something I thought I'd, I'd have a go at trying. Um, so what I've done, I've, I've stripped, stripped me spare magneto down, uh, it's all in that box there, and, and this is the armature. I've just, I've just done, well I've not unwound it, I've just removed the secondary winding, which had to be more or less cut off. Um, and that's there over there, in that mangled up pile, and the wire on that secondary winding, is really really thin. It's thinner than a human hair. Probably a couple of couple of thou thickness. And then <clears throat> it's still got the primary winding on the armature, which has got to come off because I'm going to start from scratch. And what I propose to do is now I've got this stripped down, set my lathe up, my mitered lathe, to see if I can adapt it to to wind the, a new coil on. Uh, so I propose to make a fixture now for my Marford lathe and and uh, try and do that and then uh, have an attempt at winding it. And like I said, I know it's a specialised job and I don't profess to be an expert, but it's something I've wanted to have a go at and well, we'll have a try at it. I've got all my parts in this box, my wire my uh, insulation, my shellac varnish, uh, the, um, my insulating tubes and everything for the wires. So I've got all them, so I'll uh, watch this space and I'll uh, I'll show you it later when I get it set up. 